Hi everyone, this is Kobaha. This is the card of the week for week commencing the 25th of May 2020. I'm very excited because I'm going to use a new deck today. I uh, only got it yesterday. This is the Starseed Oracle deck from Rebecca Campbell. The cards are really beautiful and the messages are quite amazing. So I can't wait to use it. So let's shuffle the cards and see what message Spirit has for us for next week. Week commencing the 25th of May, 2020. Beautiful, beautiful card and beautiful message. I'm going to read the message first. Inner Earth, you'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. Here's the card. Absolutely stunning. There is a booklet and I'm going to check if there is a description of Inner Earth before I tap into the energy of the card for the messages. So let me check. First, I need my glass. Let me see. There we go. Yes, there is. Inner Earth is believed to be a hidden world within the planet itself. Many ancient cultures mention it in their stories. It's said that some of the beings of ancient lost lands, such as Lemuria, Atlantis went there. Hindu and Celtic lore mention caves and entrances sorry, to underground worlds. Tibetan Buddhism refers to the secret mystical city Shambhala, which is thought to be located in the Himalayas. Beautiful. So bear with me a few seconds. I'm going to connect to the energy of the card and see and feel what sort of messages we're getting from it. Well, the first thing I get is regarding the name of that place, Inner Earth. To me, it represents our inner world, our connections with our higher self, spirit, the divine, whatever name you want to call it. And attached to that, there is another message. Um, in times of struggles, of challenges of problems it is so important to have faith and trust our connections with spirit my guys are saying to me spirit has our back it is time to cooperate with spirit and ask for guidance and help There is also a message about trusting um, all the process happening behind the veil, all the information that we're not getting yet, or what the spirit is trying to organize for us behind the veil we can't see. So trust and faith are so important at that time. As a second message, I'm getting... A message about looking at a situation, a challenging situation or a problem from a different perspective. And the word gratitude just sprang to mind. When we have problems in our lives, when we are going through challenging phases, it's quite often the case that we are trapped and feel in a rut. Um, we've got a feeling we can't get out of that negative thought patterns, negative energy. And spirit is telling me it's the perfect time to be grateful for whatever we already have in our lives. By being grateful, 
we not only raise our vibration, but we also attract more abundance into our lives. And abundance can be many things, of course, financial, material, but also synchronicities, solutions, new opportunities that help us to move from a challenging phase to a new positive phase. I'm also getting a message of another way of raising our vibration is to start something new, try something new, start a new project. By doing so, you're not only raising your vibration, but you're also going to attract abundance into your life. There are absolutely beautiful messages actually for next week. So I'm going to recap. If you are in a challenging phase at the moment, remember your connection with spirit is so, so important. Have faith that that connection is strong and ask for any help and guidance from your guides. Spirit has your back. Be grateful. By being grateful, you're going to attract more abundance into your life. And if you have in mind starting a new project, just go for it. That's going to bring positive energy, more abundance into your life. So I think that's it for this week. I hope the message will resonate with you. I'm wishing you all a wonderful week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.